Good morning, everyone. Um, what a great day we have here for farmland conservation in the county of Warren in the state of New Jersey. Not just because we're here to, to celebrate the purchase of a 570 acre jingle farm, it's about the major achievement of land use policy and responsible planning coming together to benefit the state of New Jersey and our residents. For the first time since our state has entered the farmland preservation program in the 1980s, we're getting ahead of a preservation issue. Um, as large scale housing and subdivisions grows, preservation in the 80s and 90s, large scale warehouse development at the pressure point to them. Developing both highly prized, highly prized flat land, which tends to be farmland, for which the bill has been a conflict of two state priorities. How do we have the infrastructure we need for the lifestyles we want, but also have the land use we need for an agricultural future in New Jersey? The difference between the housing boom and this boom uh, is how quickly large tracts of land get consumed with these projects. By addressing how and where the health development emerges through legislative changes, allows the SEDC to have the tools to work with communities and doing farmland preservation in an aggressive manner. The downsides of warehouse development, the trafficking, the traffic, very different from the agricultural use of the land in its current form. Uh, but those are also the things that go to the quality of life that our citizens want. They do want their packages delivered on time. They want local supply. Uh, so how we balance these needs and the tools to balance those needs are what this program is all about and the accomplishments of this project achieves today. It's a big day, but it's also a sad day for the preservation community. Our uh, SADC Executive Director, Susan Payne, will be um, retiring June 1. This is the last big deal and probably, as she said on the way up, she's also the biggest check I've ever signed. <laughs> um, so, um, a really big, um, a really big deal there. Uh, but she's that processes the path forward. How we can do this, not just here in Warren County, but throughout the state, when the county and the municipality and the state can come together on um, doing these kinds of initiatives, doing the smart planning for growth for the future, but also preserving our agricultural heritage. Uh, this is one of Susan's landmarks, and she's all about planning preservation through the municipal pig program, through the county pig programs, that kind of focus on the industry, focus on the resources, are going to set up the agency for the future when we start developing farm viability and sustainability plans with our farmers in the community. That's the, going to be the future of preservation, along with our partnerships and land preservation. So, Susan, the state has much to be grateful for for your efforts and work as your tenure as the SADC Executive Director. And your strategic efforts come to fruition in an event like today. So, thank you. And uh, thank everybody for coming out to support this. Thank the county and our partners. Uh, for helping drive this project forward. To that end, we can't do things without our state partner, Senator Steinhardt. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Thank you. So, uh, first of all, thank you very much. Uh, the Warren County guy, born and raised, uh, like a lot of us here, in my 55 years uh, in, in the Warren County, the area has has changed. So some for the better, not, some not, not enough to make it uh, unrecognizable, uh, but certainly not enough to ever make me uh, want to leave, uh, but enough to make me appreciate what makes Warren County special. Uh, and that's, that's folks like all of us here in this room today and projects like these. Now, uh, I am not one of those people who thinks that no growth uh, is good, no change. Uh, it is not good. Uh, if we don't grow, if we don't evolve and change, we'll sort of wither and die. Uh, at the same time, too much uh, of any one thing isn't healthy. Uh, too, much, too much food, uh, too much too much wine, uh, and too much development uh, can all be bad. Uh, and as my mom and dad uh, always used to say, everything has, has its place. 
uh, and uh, this warehouse development, 2.6 million acres, uh, right off of rural 519 in the heart of Warren County, uh, was just never uh, the right place. Uh, we have a lot of people to be thankful uh, for for helping this uh, come to fruition today. Beginning, of course, with uh, Governor Murphy and those in the front office, the secretary, uh, and everybody at the SADC, uh, the CADC, for sharing uh, all of our vision uh, for the Garden State, for wanting to see this property preserved, our commissioners, our county administrator, but most of all, I think the people that deserve uh, the most thanks are all of you folks sitting in the audience today, those that wouldn't give up uh, from the beginning, uh, persevered, uh, wanted to make sure that these fields would forever stay green, uh, these are brown, depending on the time of year, but um, but I uh, wanted to make sure that this property uh, would be preserved. I think that it's the power of people working together for the right reasons uh, to bring about successes like these. And I'm certainly proud to be a, a Warren County resident for all of my 55 years today. I'm sure all of you are too. So thank you very much for being here. Thanks for being a part of this process. And Secretary, thank you for helping us get this done. Eric, come on up. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be here today. Um, this is a momentous occasion, I think. There's uh, 570 acres that's going to be preserved and will be farmed for at least as long as any of us can ever imagine, which is a good thing here in Warren County. Um, the farmers will tell you that uh, as the land gets developed, there's less and less farmland and makes it harder and harder to make a living. And this is a great opportunity to preserve a super large tract of land for farming in the future, which will help the farming community remain sustainable here in Warren County. You know, recently we had a debate in the legislature about um, this affordable housing bill that will drive uh, development in this state. And one of the arguments that I made on the floor was that we should have diversity within the state. There should be rural areas like here in White Township and it could be agriculture in the state of New Jersey. New Jersey should not ever become a state of suburbs and cities alone. And I fight uh, for keeping our rural part of New Jersey, hundred and Warren, Somerset, um, not Somerset, it's much, uh, Sussex County, and down in South uh, Jersey, and Cumberland, and Salem counties, and parts of Atlantic and uh, Ocean counties. Uh, we need to protect that diversity in development throughout the state of New Jersey. And I am very grateful to the SADC and the Agricultural uh, Commission, Commissioner, for preserving this piece of land. It's a tremendous amount of money for one piece of land, but it's worth it because we do not want New Jersey to become one big suburban track development of uh, houses on track housing and shopping centers. We want to keep our rural heritage alive. We want to keep the beauty of places like here in White Township and in Harmony. And we also want to keep our quality of life because as the Senator said, if you built that warehouse there, the impact not just on White Township, but on Harmony and Low Pack Pond and Phillipsburg and in those Greenwich in those areas would be tremendous. So this was a this is a great momentous occasion. I want to thank everybody who had a part in this, that pushed for this, uh, the citizens of the area who activated and came out. Uh, in great numbers in opposition to this, and the leadership here in Washington Township, uh, Washington Township, I'm all over the place with names, in White Township and in Warren County uh, for putting this together because you're not just uh, stopping a warehouse, uh, you're, what you're doing is you're preserving a way of life, you're preserving agriculture here in New Jersey. And uh, in the future, when people, uh, are come to this part of New Jersey because there's people who actually don't know that this exists. Really don't want to tell them, but, uh, but they don't know this exists. I have people who come out. I live in a rural part of Hunterdon County, 
And when they come out, they say, I didn't know this existed in New Jersey. And, um, you know, people need to understand that New Jersey doesn't have to be a city. It doesn't have to be a suburb. It can be a rural, small town, like White Township. And I'm grateful to everybody who participated in this and making it happen. And I want to congratulate you all, all of you on your success here. And may we have many more successes and we keep Warren County agriculturally based, family based for generations to come. Thank you. And in your comments, you reminded me of something that um, I've been telling the department staff and the people in this room in this project really condemned it. I keep saying what the Department of Agriculture is, is people and food. And it's people's energy to voice their concerns about land development in a way they don't like, offering the opportunity for agriculture to continue on the land to provide food for the people in the state. These are the synergies we want to build and continue to build for the department. And we do that with our local partners, like our panel. So, uh, Commissioner Kern, come on down. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Secretary. Um, on behalf of Warren County, I just want to say we are so, so excited to see today come to fruition. Uh, like the good Senator, uh, I am Warren County born, born and raised as well. So this is truly a historic day. Um, Warren County is a farming community. Um, we have over 300 farms, close to 30,000 acres already preserved, and we're fourth in the state when it comes to overall farmland preservation. But this is important to us. Um, throughout this entire process, um, we always knew that it would take a willing seller, which we're so grateful for, and for the state, put the money up to make a preservation of this. It kind of like Warren would not be able to do this on our own. Um, and also, the the people in this room, um, you know, I'm going to miss seeing the orange shirts in our, <laughs> in our commissioner meetings, but um, you know, your your work and effort will will not be forgotten. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and just again, with with respect to our our state representatives, um, I, I just want to call out. Last year, um, uh, Senator Steinhardt was, was bringing up different uh, elected officials uh, or state officials from the governor's administration to see Warren County, because like the assemblyman was saying, I don't think a lot of people realize what this part of the state is. I think when they saw what this development could do to Warren County, I think that really made them aware. So. We're, we're eternally grateful for that. And again, thanks to all the county staff who put many hours in to make this happen today. We're grateful for that. And our folks in uh, the elected and appointed officials in Wake Township, thank you all for what you went through for this this long period of time. So again, on behalf of more County Board of Commissioners, this is and thank you all. Thank you. And, and the farming link to the commissioners is our county ag development board. So Aaron Lester, come on up. And uh, we appreciate all the work you've done for the end of the program over this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, it's an honor and a privilege to be here today and have the opportunity to address it. The significance of the closing of this farm is without equal. However, without a willing seller, a willing participant to preserve, we would not be here today. That's the point that we drive home the most. One of the things that's asked to our board quite frequently is why can't you be more aggressive? I want to make it a point. It can only be as aggressive as you have interest to it. So that's that's a point to remember. I want to thank the SAD staff, SADC staff and committee, Mr. Jandel for coming together in a mutual agreement for me to get to this point. In his message to the 1971 legislator, Governor Cahill made it clear his firm belief for the future and the need of agriculture in New Jersey. At that point, he directed then Secretary of Agriculture, Phil Lampany, to develop, find members, and chair the Blueprint Commission. That was the Farmland Preservation Program in its infancy. 18 months later, 
the commission had, had finished its chore and the program was off and running. In 1981, a voter approved bond for $50 million. Approved. Two years later, Governor Tom Kane signed the Agricultural Retention and Development Act into law. That law then started the process of selecting county ag development boards, spelling out their, their membership and their role in, pres in preserving farmland. That was also the first time where the development easement language came to fruition. So everyone understood development easement was word and how we reached that. The loss of farmland slowed down significantly after the Farmland Assessment Act of 1964, but it was obvious that we had more to accomplish. Preserving farmland provides a stable tax base without the cost of development that comes along with the development. If we stay disciplined, our goal should never be, our goal should only be for more farmland preservation. It is one of the true, it's one of the few rewards that is in us. I want to take this point or this time, though, since we have a senator and an assemblyman, secretary of agriculture here with a group that was interested in development in the town. One thing that's really starting to hurt the rural areas in New Jersey is the fact that there was a change in the municipal land use law a few years ago. And it's been already used in Warren County. That is calling farmland. Um, unproductive, so it can be designated an area in need of redevelopment. And the comment about development, do we want to keep this area rural? I asked our senator and our assemblyman and our secretary to be aggressive and stop the designation of, of farmland assessed property in Warren County as a need of redevelopment. For tax needs to come from. Thank you for your kind of <laughs> And Joel highlighted the partnerships that need to happen, and that is willing landowners uh, uh, and the professionals that involves them. So Tony. Good afternoon, everyone. Most people here identify me as the attorney for uh, Jambo Land Company. And yes, I've worn that uh, hat for five years now. Uh, but I wear a second hat. The other hat that I wear, some people in this room know about us, but I represent Columbus and I represent Columbus. It gave me an opportunity to uh, know the people who we deal with most of our process together of trying to sell the property to relationships were very, very helpful. Government only works well uh, if you've got quality people. And I can tell you that everyone that I work with on this project in government, pardon the pun, really was a cream of the crop. I have to start at the municipal level and want to identify certain people that uh, really stood out in this process. First uh, is uh, Sam Athens. Sam, I want you to stand up to so people. Here. He was a volunteer of the uh, chairman of the planning board in White Township, was under incredible pressure uh, from the public and from us and from all sides, uh, but through it all, he gave us a fair shake, and we saw to it that the board gave us a fair shake. And I can't thank him enough personally for his efforts under trying circumstances. He uh, he has earned my undone respect. At the state level, once we got to the point of trying to put a deal together, 
Susan Payne has been a long time uh, friend and someone that I've worked with over the years. I just learned a few moments ago she's retiring as a drinker, so I get the opportunity now to say what I really <laughs> I always knew that Susan could be charming. She could be tough. She could take a deposition in an interview better than most lawyers that I know. Uh, and I've seen it close up and personal. Uh, but what I didn't fully appreciate until this process was her organizational skills and her managerial skills. She told her staff, you know, in certain terms, that this is a very, very, very high priority. Uh, despite the fact that she was in the middle of this ongoing debacle regarding soil protection standards, the, the reality was she found the time personally uh, to and, and organizationally to devote the resources necessary to get this job done. Uh, Susan, you were really, really going to be missed. Uh, I was hoping Chuck was going to be here, Chuck Lohr, who is uh, the deputy executive director. The nickname I have given him is Deputy Dog. Well, he may not be the deputy dog for, for long. I hope that he gets, he, he fills your shoes. They would be difficult to fill, but we are all here uh, grateful, not only for what you've done in the process here today in this transaction, but for what you've done for the farming community. For many, many years, we've often had to support heads, but it's all been in a very professional way. And uh, I'll hate not going to these SABC meetings and speaking for that and being there. We will be missed. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, at the state, state staff, SABC level, there were some other people that really rose head and shoulders above what they were expected to do. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie Miller, come on, Steph, stand up, please. <laughs> Stephanie, Stephanie already had a full-time job, but when Jandal came along, she got a second full-time job. And when I tell you she was on it, I'm getting emails at six o'clock in the morning. I'm getting them at ten o'clock at night. I mean, I'm on the clock. I'm getting paid for all this. Stephanie's not making any extra money. She's she did two jobs and. She, she pulled all of us together and did an amazing job just to see to it that all of the, the particular issues needed to be dealt with. Uh, next, and, and, and certainly not least, staff and Corbett, uh, Captain. Please. Real estate extraordinaire. She, uh, she knows more about real estate than most real estate lawyers know. She, she was able to get the documents together, work with the title company, work through a number of issues and navigate it seamlessly through the process. Uh, next person I want to publicly acknowledge is Brian Smith, who's in the corner there. I hope you see. <laughs> I was disappointed that he didn't dress as he normally does today because it's rumored that Brian has the Best bow tie collection east of the <laughs> Delaware. But uh, he, he didn't uh, adorn us with one today, but uh, I've known Brian for many, many years before he uh, went over to the state. He was on the dark side and the public side, and we represented lots of people. Uh, and we have had many dealings. The, the transaction, uh, negotiating the contract and getting it finalized, knowing each other and being able to. Uh, have the common experience of being in the private sector and the public sector, I think helps tremendously in that process. And Brian, I want to thank you for that. Uh, at the uh, county level, uh, there's also one person that stands out, and that's Alex from Zorsat. Alex? Yes. Alex is the county administrator. I I got to know Alex more during this process, but the, the, the interesting story is the first case I tried in Superior Court in 1978, uh, the attorney on the other side was Alex's father. Um, <laughs> and so when I was introduced to Alex, well, Zorsak's like Spisaro, you know, there's not a whole lot of us out there. So uh, we became fast friends, and I, uh, Commissioner Kern, I can tell you that 
we better hold on to Alex. He is a valuable, valuable asset. Um, pretty much irreplaceable. The last thing I'd like to say is 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 this. Um, David Jandall has always been a man of integrity, uh, and his heart's in the right place. He's a tough businessman and a very successful businessman. But what impressed me about David is the first time I went out to the farm where he has his uh, operation, um, he could have taken me on a tour of his development projects. He could have shown me lots of things, but what he was most interested in showing me and where he brought me was to where, what do they call them, pulse? Or oh, these little turkeys? Pulse. pulse. He, he brought me to show, show me the little turkeys as, you know, just as, after they were starting to grow. I, mean, I never asked him this question, uh, but I suspect that if you were to ask him to a man, what is he most proud of? Apart from all the success he's realized in development and what have you, I think what he's most proud of is his farm and uh, what he does out there. They sell a boatload of turkeys every year. Last year, maybe 850,000 turkeys. That's a lot. It's a lot of turkey. Sir, provide the turkey to the White House. They, uh, they're an impressive operation. Uh, and David runs that show. And many of his family members are here today. Uh, they're involved in the business. Uh, I, have, I have nothing for respect, but respect for him. Uh, last person I want to uh, publicly acknowledge is uh, my assistant, Jennifer. Jennifer. Everybody gets emails from Jennifer, and everybody gets to talk to Jennifer, but few people have actually really met her. I, I've, she's not, not only my right arm, right, right arm, but my left arm, and I've told her that if she ever tries to leave me, I would stalk her, that she's very good. She does, you know, she's just, I, I don't know where I'd be without her, but uh, you've heard enough from me. Uh, I, I, the public. Um, I wasn't always treated nicely by the public, <laughs> but I gave a few barbs out myself. And I think, you know, I, I uh, my father, as, as a kid, said to me, you know, you can give it out, but you can't take it. I learned to take it. Uh, and it was deserved it. And, but I want to thank the public because it's, it's how government works and it's why government works. Without public participation, um, things happen. And, uh, you can't complain about it after the fact. I would encourage all of you, as you've done and in the past, you continue. Uh, you've got uh, representatives of the state here, your elected officials. They're far more accessible than you might think. Don't be afraid to pick up the phone, give them a call, write them a letter, attend a meeting. You can all make a difference. And, and you really did make a difference here. Thank you all very much. I will say in my previous job, I've given many farmers Tony's number for Rachel of Farmers. <laughs> uh, even when I left and packed up my office, I left the post-it note with his phone number on the house. <laughs> so whoever got my desk is like, that's a name you need to know. So thank you again for everything. Thank you. And Mr. Jandel, without you and your vision for this project coming forward, we would not be here. So thank you. Good afternoon. Certainly a pleasure to be here under under these circumstances. I've uh, been in this township meeting a few times, and I would say it's always been a positive event. Uh, and uh, I want to just say a few words, if I may, and I'll be very brief. Uh, we're certainly not pleased with consummate the say of this uh, 566. It's not quite 571 because there were a few parcels that were uh, uh, housing parcels that were taken out. Uh, with with uh, Susan Payne and, and the state. Um, the right, this right property was zoned and permitted for the industrial use that, that, that we proposed. Our original plan for the property, which I'm not sure if anybody will know this, but our original plan and, and the one that we filed was for us to develop half the property, uh, the back half of the property, uh, with the pouch, uh, with, under the township's uh, permitted industrial use. And then we also uh, uh, proposed to preserve the front half of the property uh, along, along the main road, in the southern half of the property, 
exports that are being used for agricultural purposes only. And uh, that was important to us. And uh, I, I really don't know how many other developers, and I don't consider myself a developer, I consider myself a farmer first, but uh, uh, we are in our developers. Uh, but I don't know how many of the developers would have considered that. They probably would have come in, kind of maximize the site out, and done what they could. So we we have a little different uh, thinking about that. We, we do farm, we do farm 13,000 acres in the Rehab Valley, and 10% uh, of the acres that we farm are, are preserved. We have, a, we have not paid for preserved land, we have bought the preserved land, and we donated the preservation rights uh, in certain communities um, in, in, uh, in, uh, in the Lehigh Valley. So, but we never got paid for those rights. Uh, last June, um, uh, as you heard, we were contacted by Susan, Susan Kay of the state of New Jersey in an effort to gauge our interest in selling uh, our White, White Township property uh, to the State Agricultural Development Committee. Um, even though our development plans were well advanced, as most of you know, uh, uh, in the approval process, pro approval and permitting process, we, we agreed. And uh, I'd like to thank our staff and consultants, in particular, uh, our point person, Tony, Tony Spare, did, uh, did a great job. And uh, and, uh, and quite frankly, um, I'm, you know, it's been five years and I, I'm gonna miss the guy, but uh, <laughs> not that much. <laughs> Thanks, you, sir. Local and county officials uh, that participated here today, and, and certainly uh, the group. And Doug, uh, I've known Doug for a while, spoken like a true uh, polit a politician. <laughs> you, did, you did a great job. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank Susan, Susan Payne of the SABC um, for her professionalism and with the staff uh, during this uh, last year. She, Susan contacted me, I was on my way out to see a processing plant. Uh, a chicken processing plant, uh, Bella Evans, and, uh, and I got a call on the telephone saying that Susan would like to talk to me, and I didn't know who Susan was, but I took the call, and uh, and that was that was probably the first week in June of last year, if I recall correctly. But uh, again, that's all I have to say. Thank you, and uh, appreciate your time. <laughs> She is the man of the hour. <laughs> um, because again, it, it really does take uh, insight and innovation and using the skill set uh, that she has, which is what made her great executive director and is very happy that you get to be moment. So, uh, Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I'm not able to come when this got publicly announced. I was really sick that night, and uh, Chuck came up, so he got to come up then, and, and uh, I'm super glad to be here today. A um, couple comments. First of all, um, Mr. Jandel, if I knew that you donated easements, that conversation. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. And, um, and it's rare that I agree with almost everything that Tony Spasara says in one of those days. Um, so New Jersey um, in um, the last year has celebrated its 40th anniversary, right? So, um, and we're one of the oldest farmland preservation programs in the state. Not the oldest, the oldest are about like 50 years old, so they have 20 years on us. But we are definitely one of the most successful. And we preserved over 250,000 acres of farmland. And that's about half of what we think we can preserve. Um, and so we're about halfway to our goal. So it's taken us 40 years to get to 250, and I can guarantee you, we do not have another 40 years to preserve them. Um, so if the state wants to accomplish these goals, um, we're going to have to be aggressive. And this really, this project is an example of being aggressive, yeah, really thinking outside the box and going for it. Um, and none of that is possible, and so many folks have spoken, but I just want to say a few things about that. Um, these programs don't work unless every level of government comes together. So you need a supportive administration. You need legislative leadership in the assembly and the Senate. You need commissioners at the county level who are going to support this. You need municipal support. We, we have that here. So we all do. Um, you need to have people in government. Every organization is only as good as the people in it. 
right? Whether you're a company, a family, a community, a state, a nation, right? And I've been um, just honored to lead the SAC and its staff because they are some of the best in the world will ever be place of government. Um, Tony went through and specifically thanked everyone, so I'm not going to repeat that. And I appreciate that, Tony, very much that you did that. That's fine. Um, at the county level, Alex, thank you for taking all of my calls and um, making this happen. I also want to recognize Stuart Tierney, um, who runs your farmland preservation program efforts here in Warren County. Warren County is one of the leaders uh, in farmland protection, and he's part of that reason. Um, the other part of that reason is the commissioners who support it, the public who supports it, um, and people like Joel Schmetzer. Um, farmland preservation is made up of 18 counties out of the city's 21. Um, and in every one of those counties over the last 40 years, you just have a constant um, commitment of volunteers who sit night after night on ag advisory committees at the local level, county planning boards, municipal planning boards, zoning boards, um, county ag development boards. This whole volunteer community is what makes this program work. Um, it's not just about government, too. Right? And then you have to actually talk to the people who own the land. And that's the farming community, uh, for the most part, in New Jersey. Farmland preservation is the biggest financial decision most people will ever make in their lifetime. And so that is a very significant weight and responsibility that we, um, we take very seriously. And it's not a one and done. It's not like you go and you purchase a car and everybody walks away. When you purchase a farm, you've entered into a forever relationship. And um, forever is a really long time. So we do the best we can to work with landowners from the very beginning when they get the check to one generation after the next, making sure that farmland is there, it's productive, you know, and it's available for the next generation. The only thing we know in agriculture is that it's going to continue. You know, this is not a landscape preservation program. It is not an open space preservation program. This is an agricultural preservation program. And so we're here to support um, farmers and we're here to support the land that they need to keep agriculture in the emergency. Um, Secretary, I um, I wanted to thank you for your comments on, on SEC's focus on planning. Um, we don't get a chance to preserve 600 acres at a foot very often. And so when we get that kind of chance, um, you know, we really need to step up and get it done. And that's what everybody here today did, and everybody in this room did, is step up and help make this happen. Um, New Jersey's focus is very, uh, sorry, SEDC's focus is very, um, uh, we pay a lot of attention to land use planning because it does make sense to me as a public servant to see land that's zoned for, let's say, affordable housing and sewer and water, which the public has invested so much money to make something happen doesn't make sense to me to step in and undo that, right? So what we try to do in our program is we try to support and help implement communities with print for growth, what they're planning is not frustrated. And I think that's what we did here. Um, um, the, this property was in the county's agricultural development area, designated for preservation. This was in the Highlands area that was designated as environmentally sensitive. Right, so you've got all these county and municipal and regional plans kind of speaking loudly to us that this is an area that should be preserved, and that's why we stepped in. Um, so a big thank you to White Township for your support, um, to Warren County for its constant collaboration in making this happen, and to Mr. Jandel for entertaining the idea of farmland preservation as a realistic alternative. Um, so we permanently preserve what we're naming the Buckhorn Creek Farm for the creek that runs to this property. And we know that farm will continue to contribute to the high quality of life here in Lake Township and in Warren County in the future. So with that, I think I'm the last speaker. I know the, the next step, we're going to go out to the farm um, and you're all invited to come with us. We're going to unveil a, a new farming preservation sign. I hope you will see many more across the landscape in the coming years. And I just want to say thank publicly, thank you for the opportunity to serve. That's been the best career I could possibly imagine. And um, I look forward to a very bright future for farming. Thank you.